Kelly Hayes for GenConnect.com. I'm joined by Julie Reiner here in the holiday season. We've got two beautiful punches in front of us. Cheers. Cheers. So uh, we're looking at two different kinds of punch bowls. I understand that one of the things about punch is that it can be served in different kinds of vessels. Absolutely. Um, what we have here are a very old classic punch bowl. This is a milk glass punch bowl. It's an antique that I have. Um, and then this one is a very modern sort of version that you find in a lot of, you know, home kitchen stores and those sort of things these days since Punch is really making a comeback. Um, I really like to shop the old sort of antique stores and see what I can find. Um, and I have a huge collection of them. I keep buying them. I need to stop. <laughs> So you say that punch is making a comeback. Can you tell me a little bit about the origins of punch? What's the tradition? Why do yeah. people drink well, punches? Well, punch is really the granddaddy of all mixed drinks. You know, it it started there, um, you know, back, it, it started way back with sailors, and it was like in London, people had time to sit around and drink punch all day. So <laughs> that's what they did. And, and this was sort of, there are a lot of old photographs of people sort of laying about, you know, hammered from drinking punch all day. Um, and the, the cocktail sort of was born from punch uh, when people just didn't have time to do that anymore. They actually had a job and they had to work. Um, but that is really, sort of how it all started. So everything is old, old as new again now. What's what's going on with the punch exactly. with well, Renaissance in America now? Our, our, our dear friend and cocktail historian David Wondrich uh, wrote a book about punch. Um, and everybody in the cocktail world went crazy because he had done all this research and we all, you know, want it, we all are all about serving things that are old and, and historical. And so, you know, it's delicious and there's history behind it but it also is easy mm -hmm. so you know for not only like in my bars we serve punch it's great because people order a punch bowl we it's like serving a batch you know so you take it to the table and we don't have to worry about that table for quite some time um, something that I love about punch is that it's communal you know everybody is having the exact same experience so it's it, rather than everybody having a different cocktail we're all sort of, it's a group effort, you know? Um, and then at holiday parties, you put out a punch bowl and it is always the center of the party. It's always right. where everybody's standing. So if there were three things that you could recommend to people at home who might be interested instead of putting out mixed cocktails for their holiday party, mm -hmm. rather put out punch, what would they be? Well, I would say, you know, try to, try to make it the morning of your party, um, first of all. Always squeeze your juice fresh that day. Um, and use a large block of ice. Those are really the three things to me that are key. What do you mean by a large block of ice? Well, in our punch bowls here, I've, I've frozen a quart container full of water, put it in the freezer 24 hours, and you can put that in your punch bowl and it's gonna last for hours. And it's gonna keep your punch cold and not overly dilute it. So that is uh, the way you want to go. If you put regular ice cubes, they just melt. So I assume quickly. you're serving punch at your holiday parties. What's the best thing about punch at a party? Uh, for me, I'm not bartending all night, <laughs> which if my family, if I don't make punch, I am making cocktails all night long. Um, so this way I only have to make a few for the people that are, you know, have to have their special drink that they love. Um, but punch is gonna be great for the majority of the people at the party. It keeps the host from just, you know, being in the kitchen all night long. It's it's doing prep work ahead of time. So, you know, that it's it makes it easy and you can actually enjoy your own party. Well, Julie Reiner, those are very simple tips for us. We greatly appreciate it. Happy holidays to you. Same to you. Thanks for having me. You can me. see more with Julie at uh, genconnect.com.